Hello everybody, welcome to Leaked Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco. Another edition of Leaked Wine TV, right? So, we've got um, what we're going to have tonight for, you know, with uh, dinner. So I already, or, already opened this up. It's called Red Guitar. Um, and uh, it's a 2006 Nav uh, Red Guitar. It's from Navarra, which is uh, a region of Spain that is um, in the northern part of Spain, kind of near the area of Pamplona. Remember the, the bulls, the running of the bulls, Pamplona? You got it. So you now you kind of under, know where it's coming from. Uh, this is a uh, blend of Tempranillo and Garnacha, and it's 55% uh, uh, Tempranillo, 45% Garnacha. We got it at uh, HEB, not HEB Plus, but the regular HEB uh, for $7.99. So, um, I'm excited about this. Let's see what it's like. I've seen this a lot in the stores. I just never bought it. So uh, this is the first time on this one. You know, nice good color. Nice and dark. Huh. Got a little bit of cork. Cork won't hurt anybody. I like the nose. Though it's a little bit, there's 14% alcohol, so it's probably a little higher. So you can kind of smell that, but. Lots of fruit. Um, really get in there. Didn't feel like we're in the contacts today. Lots of fruit, nothing specific. Um, maybe some berries, but nothing specific on that. And of course, I got the cork in there too. I didn't taste the cork. Lots of tannins. Really hitting the mouth. Um, a little bit of tartness, but not that much. Um, Really coats the mouth with the tannins. I'm getting a little sweetness. A little sweetness. Got some of the berry action in there. A little bit of pepper in the back end. And that's really where I'm getting some good flavors is, is, is in the back of the palate. Um, I, I really do like it. A little bit of a uh, um, little bit of a little bit of spice to it. A little bit of spice. I think this I think it's gonna go really well with the, with the brisket we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Um, you got some nice fruit. Got a little bit of spiciness. Um, the tannins aren't overpowering, so they should do really well with the barbecue. Um, Maybe, maybe there might be a little hint, a little hint of smoke. Maybe it's because I know we're gonna have barbecue. I got that barbecue um, uh, thought in my head, but uh, I think it's gonna work really well. I'm gonna give this. Um, I'm gonna give this an 87. I think it's an excellent wine, uh, especially for the price, and uh, I think it's drinking really well. So. Uh, just, uh, just a couple things. There isn't that much I can find about this particular about this particular um, uh, wine. Um, it is in the Navarro region. Uh, now, according to the write-up, uh, they've got vines for these, for this wine or, or for this 
producer that are between 60 and 100 years old or vines that were planted between 60 and 100 years ago. And it says old vine on it. So um, these, these, these have been vines that have been around forever. I think it's a couple good stories about some of the guys that still own the vineyards that they get the wine from that they've been you know these guys are like 80 years old and 90 years old and they've been like working the fields not, not, not they don't work them now but you know if they they were remembering as a kid working the field so that was a really cool story I'd go to the website you can read some little story stuff about it um uh the producer of the wine is bodegas ada they you go to the their website they don't really mention this wine at all so i, I don't really know what their I, they may be just the money behind it but they have their own, um, they have their own label, Bodegas ADA. Uh, then they talk about uh, the Minotaur is their little logo, and they kind of give a little um, uh, connection with the running of the bulls. But um, yeah, I, I would buy it again, totally. Um, so I'm school lesson four. The left bank is finally up on the site, so uh, I got it up this morning, or it was up yesterday. Uh, to Vidler, but it wasn't on the site till this morning. Sorry for the big delay on that, so go check that out. Click up there for sommelier school. Um, the lessons, I think, can get a little bit better as I'm getting a little more comfortable on the camera with that. Um, as always, click the links uh, for uh, friending me up with Twitter, Facebook. You need to send me an email. Comments. Leave some comments, folks. Um, and that's going to be about it. We'll have another show tomorrow for 4th of July. Well, 3rd of July, actually. Um, and uh, we'll see everybody again next time.